When Kanye West tweeted on September 27th, 2018 that his new album Yandi would be releasing only two days later on the 29th, presumably after his appearance on SNL, fans rejoiced with the excitement of new music following his previous two albums that year, Ye and Kid See Ghosts. Unfortunately, we all know that Yandi would go on to be ultimately scrapped and reformed into Jesus is King, but there's no denying that this original release date combined with his performance on SNL would have been an unbelievable event. This got me curious about a reality where Kanye did drop what he had done of Yandi, specifically how finished the project would have been if he had literally just turned in the album to DSPs in the final minute of the 29th. Well, the truth is that it actually was a lot more complete than people realize, so let's examine each song planned for Yandi, going off the SNL whiteboard tracklist and see just how close Kanye got to finishing each one. Basically, my criteria for a song being finished is it has to have zero mumble Kanye vocals. We know that he will work and work on a song 50 million times, throwing different artists' vocals and different production at it, but until it has full non-mumble lines from Kanye, I don't think he would consider the song finished. Also, the SNL Yandi tracklist we have is from September 29th because it was shown in episode 2 of Keeping Up With The Kardashians Season 16. This episode was aired on April 7th, 2019, but in it they showed showed a flashback to Kim taking a trip to New York to see Kanye on SNL, and it's during this segment that the tracklist is shown, meaning that it's essentially the final working version of the album from that day, which was the original release date. Alright, with all that being said, let's jump into it, starting with the first track, Triple X, aka The Storm. <laughs> This one was actually finished way before the 29th, with Kanye recording his verse on the 22nd. Prior to that, the song was developed with Kanye and Aunt Clemens both freestyling over the initial beat produced by Ronnie J and FNZ. On the 22nd, those freestyles got cleaned up into a finished verse from Kanye and finished hook vocals from Aunt Clemens. Also on this day, Kanye added the iconic XXX verse and a full verse from Ty Dolla Sign, with him also being present on the hook layered under Aunt Clemens. Following this, Kanye added Kid Cudi feature vocals to the song and did a final version on September 28th with additional new production from Mike Dean that was just the cherry on top for this song. This is why I say The Storm got the absolute worst treatment of any song brought forward to Jesus is King because doing that resulted in Kanye scrapping both Cudi's and X's verses from the song that sounded so amazing. Regardless, this one was fully done and ready to drop one day prior to the 29th, so Kanye gets a gold star for the storm. I did it, so bitch, I'm with it. I did it, so I don't fit it. I did it, so I did it, so I did it. Niggas ask me where I get my drip back, told the niggas throw it back, pack, nigga, back, back. Ask for the money where your back say. If you ain't my brother, throw the fuck, nigga, I said, uh, cut it at, cut it at, throw shade, uh, Asian bitch, really like the crochet, uh, Emirates, never like throw shade, uh, came to the crib, I'm from Kool Aid, ayy, ayy. After that, the next item on the tracklist is New Body, which may or may not be dropping soon, considering the Ty Dolla and Kanye collab album is on the horizon. Regardless of the state it's in now, the song was absolutely not finished on the 29th, and Kanye just barely missed it with him recording his mostly finished vocals one day later on the 30th. If Yandi had dropped after SNL, New Body would have likely included Ty Dolla Sign's finished verse and hook vocals, designer's bridge vocals, and I guess chopped up parts of one of Kanye's earlier freestyles that he did with 6 9 New Body as a whole had a lot of room to grow, and the Nicki feature added on October 4th was basically everything, so it's probably good Kanye didn't drop this one without Nicki. Tonight, you going out tonight, we going out tonight. That's cool. yeah, no dick don't count. One new titties, those tits don't bounce. One gonna go sis don't count. Gotta run it up before the sun and I count. Bye Bye Baby at track 3 was unfortunately probably the song that got the least amount of attention from Kanye prior to the 29th, with him only recording one rough freestyle, of which only a few lines were used on a September 27th version of the song. He did have a long spoken intro from Mickey Blanco and production from Ronnie J and FNZ, but this one was definitely more of an idea than a real song that could be completed. As such, I highly doubt this one would have even been included on an official 929 Yandi release due to how unfair finished it is. Did beat made me wanna see a big booty bitch. Had sent on a thunder like oh it booty. I don't want so 
on the sun for a week at the shit But I can't suck it till you just a freak at the shit Let me see you turn around, let me see you back again Let me see After Bye Bye Baby, Kanye had I Love It at track 4, which is basically a no-brainer for him to include on the album. This was his guaranteed radio hit of the project, and it was already doing huge numbers that month after officially releasing on September 7th, 2018. Okay, to be honest, in the context of Yandi, I really think I Love It has a place and fits, so I don't mind it, but I know a lot of people dislike this song for obvious reasons. I think it contrasted amazingly with the Yandi theme of taboo topics juxtaposed with insightful revelations. Congratulations. Following that is the infamous track number 5 on Yandi, Hurricane, aka what I would call one of the most famous Kanye leaks of all time. Although unfortunately the song was not finished on the 29th, it was honestly a lot closer than songs like Bye Bye Baby. Up until SNL, Kanye was really working on fleshing out Hurricane with him having Aunt Clemens, Young Thug, and Ty Dolla Sign all record by the 23rd of September, which is also the day that Kanye did his classic Wave Runner verse. While that old verse is pretty good, it is no notably not finished, with only a couple lines of mumble. On the 27th, Mickey Blanco recorded vocals, and then finally on the 29th, Kanye gave the song a pretty huge makeover, adding his own old auto-tuned hook vocals over a brand new industrial beat produced by Kashmir Cat and Francis and the Lights. Hurricane is interesting to me. I think Kanye was prepared to drop it with his verse not being finished, considering he used it as a promo for Yandi on Twitter, but with this one, I feel like he really loved the vibe and wanted to just expand it as much as possible. Regardless, Hurricane was not finished by my standards, but I will say it got damn close, and I can't lie, I would have been bumping this shit in 2018 if it had dropped even with the Mumble Wave Runner verse. <laughs> Next, we move on to track number 6, Alien, which is just such a classic. The amount of flute being used on Yandi was actually insane, and it serves to create a super ominous and extraterrestrial feeling on Alien. Kanye recorded his original vocals on September 28th, which are the same ones that would be used on all future versions of Alien, even into the Donda era. These vocals are definitely less finished than Hurricane, I'd say about 60% done, 40% mumble, so already it was not in a spot to release just due to that. Besides his own contributions, Kanye had artist 070 Shake record a feature verse on the same day, while just one day later, on the 29th, Jaden Smith would hop in the studio to rap over the Alien beat. Of course, Aunt Clemens' amazing intro titled Godzilla was being used, so overall, this one was in a pretty good spot, but it desperately needed Kanye to go back over his initial lines. While I absolutely love the sound of Alien, it is pretty unfinished and was most certainly not ready to drop after SNL, despite how much potential it had. Watch, ready player 125 time, cause we know we stuck in a matrix. Ooh. Alien, pyramids, sheep of people, they're delirious. When I'm serious, no conspiracies. Yo, 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 we all just trying to survive. If you stare at the youth in our eyes, then we're all afraid for our lives. Uh, in our price, space X straight to the sky. I'm in zero, I'll never see my demise. But when I die, the sun will set in my eyes. Next, we move to Last Name, my personal favorite scrapped Yandi song, and one that I think definitely would have done numbers had it been fully finished by Kanye. Leading up to SNL, Kanye had recorded an initial long vocal take for the song and was utilizing feature vocals from Aunt Clemens to flesh out the track all over production from Francis and the Lights, Boogs the Beast, and Mike Dean. This one actually stayed pretty stagnant until the 29th, which is when Kanye recorded the notorious Pete Last Name verse, which was actually not directed at Pete Davidson. This new vocal take was definitely different and had a bit more energy, but was still about 50-50 mumble and finished lines, meaning Last Name was not at all ready to drop on the day of SNL. Despite its insane potential, Kanye left this one in a rough state vocally, and we can only hope and pray that someday he revives the song for a future release. I got the fashion on me, they got the fun on me, they got the fun on the fleet, they got the fun on the fleet, and they be sending them threats, I be like I ain't been, I got the fun on the fleet, I ain't get fun on the death. Be straight. Hey, yo, I go see my mom. You niggas don't want no prom. You niggas want to the smoke. And I want all 
following last name is a double feature on the tracklist City in the Sky and Garden. These are two separate songs, so let's cover how finished each of them were, starting with City in the Sky, also called Sky City. The song's development began on September 22nd with production from James Royo and finished vocals from Ty Dolla Sign, Aunt Clemens, Designer, and 070 Shake, while Kanye laid down an initial rough freestyle. Moving forward to the 29th, Kanye added Kid Cudi vocals and additional production from Mike Dean, while also fully finishing his vocals, believe it or not. While the take isn't amazing, Kanye's vocals do indeed have zero mumble, although I feel like if Sky City were to drop, he would have re-recorded with some more energy on a better mic. He made it already with nothing to lose and free attitude with nothing to prove. We going bitch, I got a Jew, playing the dead to get out the noose. I don't need your point of views. I can't hear you at this altitude. And they steady saying that I'm rude, I be rude. If I don't come, beat the shit out you. In the sky, yeah, in the sky, yeah, sky, yeah. We just fly, yeah, we just fly. Yeah. So that one was 100% finished and ready to drop, but what about Garden? The Garden was actually a Chance the Rapper song that him and Daniel Caesar freestyled over before it was given to Kanye in 2018 for Yandi. On the 22nd, Kanye did an initial voice note freestyle on his phone to get an idea for future vocals, although those would not get re-recorded before the 29th. Also on that day, he had both Aunt Clemens and Ty Dolla Sign record vocals for the song and put a spoken word voicemail from Carol Bayer Sager over his original voice note recording. This is unfortunately the state the song was in on the day of SNL, so it was most certainly not ready for a release. After that, we moved to We Got Love, which, like Garden, was not originally Kanye's song. It initially belonged to Tiana Taylor and was meant for her KTSE album, but ended up scrapped and gifted to Kanye, who recorded a finished verse on September 13th using Tiana's vocals as a reference. This one was actually played live by Kanye and Tiana on SNL and was fully finished and ready to drop, although Kanye did not have a huge vocal presence, just his one verse. Regardless, he had finished vocals from both him and Tiana Taylor and Phenomenal production. This one would have been amazing to hear on Yandi. I live in abundance. Love is the new money. I'm mentally wealthy. Spiritually conscious. I'm fresh out of onyx. I'm balling, I'm balling. I play with the hundreds. Love is the new money. That's my frequency. Spark up, burn the sage. Clear the room, heal the hate. Love is the new wave. Play catch with the hundreds. And finally, we land at our last member of Yandi's SNL tracklist, Chakras, aka the original concept for Sela off Jesus is King. Chakras on the 29th of September was done and ready to drop, with the song sporting a full long Kanye verse and a rough screaming outro at the end, all over production from Caroline Shaw and Boogs the Beast. Along with Kanye's vocals, he had tons of guest voices from Aunt Clemens, The Dream, Caroline Shaw, and Bongo By the Way, all contributing their own unique touch to the song. I think this would have been a phenomenal outro to Yandi, and I'm not even mad it got repurposed for Sela because Kanye maintained the original energy that made Chakras so good. I try to miss a BC Galant me. Yeah, this the one and only. Can't tell a unicorn from a pony. So if you were following along throughout the entire video, we officially end the count with 5 out of 10 songs finished because I'm counting City in the Sky and Garden separately. The 5 finished songs being The Storm, I Love It, City in the Sky, We Got Love, and Chakras, while the 5 unfinished songs are New Body, Bye Bye Baby, Hurricane, Alien, and Last Name. Look, I know Kanye didn't finish the album, but I feel like he does deserve a little bit of credit for finishing at least half of it, even if I Love It doesn't really count. And the half that was unfinished had some such insane potential. I mean, there's a reason why Kanye kept working on New Body, Hurricane, and Alien past the Yandi and Jesus is King era fully through the Donda era. If nothing else, Yandi was a phenomenal collection of sounds and is still a joy to listen through despite its rough state.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And let me know down in the comments which of these songs you think would have done the best off the album if it had dropped on the 29th.